A software developed right here in Kentucky and it gives first responders an idea of what a school looks like if they get called there for an emergency. WDRB's Christy Batista tells us how it keeps kids safe. When first responders get a call, 911 operator, well, where's your emergency? The information they get is usually the name of the location, an address, and the type of emergency they're responding to. If something were to happen at Community Montessori in New Albany, they would typically go to the front door. Now, they don't have to. All of us are worried about intrusions and, you know, bad actors in, in, in any organization you're in, but especially in schools, it gives another layer of support for families as they drop off their children every morning. The school is installing tactical wayfinding, a software developed by a dad who wanted to make it easier to find the location of an emergency. His son has a rare medical condition. And they can get to the, his entrance is supposed to have to go all the way around the building or through the building. It's just, it's a huge sense of relief knowing that if something was to happen and he needed help that they could get to him. First responders now have a map of the school at the click of a button. This is what they'll see when they get the call. The software highlights the zone that the emergency is closest to. Community Montessori has nearly 30 different entrances, so it would help them pinpoint the location they need to go. If we were dealing with something where somebody was unstable or something and we didn't want anyone to go to zone A, you know, we're all understanding that so we can use it internally for that. Thursday, school leaders and law enforcement went around the building setting up the zones. There are already about 15 schools in southern Indiana using this software. When people start collaborating together and bring people together from different segments of our of our community um, and, and the law enforcement groups buy into it and everyone's working together, it only helps all of us feel safer and more supported in our communities. Working together to keep kids safer. With photojournalist Jonathan McEmber, Christy Batista, WDRB News.